Welcome friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and today the topic is on HVAC and somehow I am able to find some of the important things which generally gets neglected which will help you to understand better. So today's topic is all about types of dampers in HVAC. See the picture on the right hand side and you can find the various elements which goes into an HVAC, the dampers which I am talking about. So these dampers, let us look at one by one. Giving you more pictures, the actual pictures, look at this, these are dampers, dampers over here and there will be multiple of them and the each damper has own purpose, we are going to look at it in detail. So first damper we are going to talk about is volume control damper, here we generally call it VCD. The purpose of this damper to, to control the flow, the air quantity in the ducting and its branches. And the second purpose is equalizing the friction and the pressure drop in the, within the duct. So this is the purpose we are going to look at the types of VCDs. Now there are multiple types. First is called parallel blade damper. You can see from the construction the picture is in front of you. These are actual images. The blades are when they open, they open in parallel and there is a air moment here. When the blades are closed, they are closed in one direction. There is another damper which is in front of you, that is the type, second type which is called opposed blade damper. So you can see the blades open in opposite direction. So when you close the damper, they will close in opposite direction and get closed. And you do it for same thing or vice versa for the opening of the damper. The next one is single blade dampers. You must have seen these dampers, the multiple blade dampers. This is a single flap, you can see, single flap over here. Then we have round ducts and that's why we have single blade round damper over here you can see again a flap this rod and you can uh, close and open these dampers this is these are called vcds now look at the installation of vcd so this is the vcd you can see this is the handle you can go this multiple blade dampers generally the vcds are located in supply or return ducting vcds are both types manual this is a manual VCD and it can be a motorized VCD also. For any VCD because we need access to open or close or to do air balancing uh, you know or re-air re balancing later on you need an access access in the false ceiling which is very important to access this otherwise without access these VCDs will not play any big role. There has to be when we connect the VCDs to duct there has to be flanges and the gasket. So just to explain you this is a duct made or a, or a flange made of duct, you can see here. Now this can go with four bolt duct systems. There will be a gasket over here, so when the duct flange comes in, there is no leakage. So the leakage is a mini bias because gasket will help you to do that. In this case, there will be a clamps to clamp this and the gasket in between. You can also put a hole over here and nut bolting with the connecting duct right so this is with respect to installation now let us look at another damper called back draft damper we call it bdd we have seen vcd now bdd what is the purpose to let the air movement only in one direction right they are installed before the exhaust fans to prevent air coming back if the exhaust fan is taking the air out it should not come back again they are also installed when you have two units and one is working, one is standby. Otherwise, one will start supplying the air and can come back to the another, another unit. So that will not be allowed if you use BDD. Let us look at further. This is a BDD. You can see this will close. If the air go, if the air direction is like that, this will open and it will not allow air to come from here. So if you look at this exhaust duct, we can see over here. This is a BDD. When the fan is on, this will allow the flap to go up and the air will go up. Moment the air goes up and the fan is switched off, this will not, this will get closed and this will not allow the air to come back from outside to in. The air is going out from in to out, this is exhaust. The flap gets opened, when the fan is switched off, the flap is closed, it will not allow the air to come back in. So this is the whole purpose of BDD, hope you understood. The next one is, Fire damper, we call it FDD. 
This is to prevent the spread of fire inside the building by the HVAC equipment. So it is installed, you know, after the HVAC equipment. It is also used to prevent the fire from one zone to another zone. So if you have two zones and there is a fire rated wall, you can put the fire damper that will not allow the spread of fire from one zone to another zone. These are to be installed in the ducts as well as on the fire rated wall. So this is the purpose. There are types of fire damper. This is feasible link fire damper. This is called curtain type feasible link fire damper. This is the link and this is the curtain. In case of fire, this link will collapse and the curtain goes down. And that's how we prevent the fire from this end to other end. Another is called motorized fire damper, which has got a motor which will get a signal of fire from the zone and this will get closed in case of fire. The next one is fire and smoke damper. So it has got dual, you know, actuator which will also sense the smoke. So it will not allow the smoke to pass from one side to another side. So this is how the fire dampers are constructed. They are generally constructed. You can see with a sleeve. This is a damper. This is a wall of a, a fire damper. These are sleeve. These are actuators, and they get signals from fire alarm system or fire detection system. This is how. The fire dampers are installed and you can just link and the link will be also in the description box. This is a very important link on how to install fire damper. The proper video and you can get a lot of value out of it. One more information which I want to give it to you. Please enroll into the digital course on good installation of HVAC system. This course is available on class plus and this is called good installation practices in HVAC. Very important course for all of you people who are in the beginning of their career or people who are already into the HVAC field, they can get a lot of value. There is a link in the description box. Click the link and you can get benefit at a very, very reasonable cost. Right? Or I will not say cost, it is an investment for the knowledge. So, this is one announcement which I wanted to make through this video. Please take full benefit of it. Please subscribe my channel. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and ajaskazi.com. Thank you very much.